Cove. Say bye, Cove. You're gonna be a bath dog now. You're gonna be a bath dog now. We'll miss you. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Janet, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, welcome back to my channel. All right, today is Canadian Thanksgiving. We always celebrate on the Sunday. Um, technically the holiday is tomorrow which is the monday but we always have our dinner on the sunday and jenna made it home so she is home and of course zoe is home and my dad will be coming out later on for dinner tonight but my brother unfortunately won't be here until tomorrow which is monday night so hopefully i'll be able to get a quick clip of him maybe um in the next vlog and you will be able to meet him but um, I just had a shower and got ready for the day. It is about 1.30, 2 o'clock, and I really haven't done much today. Jimmy is always the one that does all of our cooking for all of our major meals, like at Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter. Jimmy does all of it. Um, so I don't do very much the day of, which is absolutely great. I'm usually the one to clean up. Of course, the girls help me and stuff. Um, but Jimmy is always the one to be doing and um, like cooking and preparing the big dinner on our holiday meal. So um, yeah, so I bought some cute little flowers. I will show you in a second here. I got these cute little sunflowers um, when I was at the grocery store, so I thought they would look nice on the table for our Thanksgiving dinner. And yeah, I will show you, um, the dogs are just chilling. Jenna is home, so Cove is downstairs with her in her room. And like I had mentioned, Cove will be going back to Banff with Jenna, so we will miss her dearly. I think Aries already misses her. Um, but this is Aries. This is um, our Labradoodle. He is six years old and he is a big, big suck so he is our baby boy which we love him very much they just got groomed a few days ago and then over here is our rosy girl and she is our little rescue actually so she she is definitely an attention getter as well too um, she always loves loves attention so these are our two dogs and we have a new addition which I will maybe show you guys in this clip um, but those are our two dogs, and like I said, you have seen um, Cove many times before as well in our video. <laughs> Rosie, you're such a little suck, but we love you, girl. Um, Rosie is a Bichon Shih Tzu, as well as um, Cove is a Bichon Shih Tzu as well, who is Jenna's dog. So, Aries, you stay. They follow me everywhere I go. Literally, when I walk to the kitchen, they just follow me. <laughs> and here he comes around the corner. Uh, but we have, um, let me turn on some lights here, actually. Here we go. All right, so Jimmy is preparing, like I said, dinner. So what, Jimmy is from Newfoundland here in Canada. So we have Jig's dinner, which is pretty much just like um, salt beef and kind of like, I compare it to like a corned beef meal, um, but he boils on low. This is kind of like an all day event, but he cooks the um, salt beef on low with some vegetables. Then he drains it, then he boils it again, and then cooks all of the vegetables with the cabbage, um, turnip, carrots, potatoes, and everything. It's kind of like a one pot meal. And then also too, usually in a separate pot, if we are having like a huge amount of people over, he will cook it in a separate pot as well too. Um, so he has the potatoes all sliced and ready to go he puts those in last and then we have our turkey that is in the oven we decided to put it in the oven this year instead of deep frying it because we usually do deep fry it but we usually deep fry our turkey it is so good deep fried but jimmy just decided that he wanted to cook it in the oven today so that works for me also i will show you guys once we um cut these open but i got these these um apples is what they are they're apples then they have a layer of caramel and then they are have a layer of chocolate on the outside and we usually get these for um like holidays <clears throat> all the time. The girls absolutely love them. My mom actually started this tradition of getting these apples. So we will slice those open and have them with our dessert. I probably won't be having it, but the rest of my family will. I will be having a keto Thanksgiving this year, um, which will include my coconut cream pie. And I'm so excited to have a slice of that. 
But for the family, um, this is their favorite brand for pumpkin pie, Old Mill pumpkin pies. Um, I don't make my own homemade pumpkin pie. I do make homemade apple pie usually at Christmas time. So there's two of those just because we will have like, I guess it's like six or seven people here for Thanksgiving. So, and these aren't, aren't very big pies at all. So two of those and that will be for dessert and then we do have whipping cream to go with that. And then like I said, I will be having my coconut cream pie, which is in the fridge. And I even managed, you guys, I even managed not to even have a slice of this. It was hard because I made this a couple days ago, um, but I will definitely be having, I might even have two slices today, I'll be honest. It is super, super good. All right, so that is the lowdown so far. I will keep you guys posted on what happens throughout the day. And yeah, I will just give you an update probably later on once we have dinner and dessert. I will show you guys my plate. Might be a shorter vlog because um, I definitely, um, like I had said in my Instagram post, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure that you do that. Um, but I had mentioned how I feel this year for Thanksgiving anyways. I feel like a sense of like, I don't know, just like, I don't wanna say accomplishment, but it feels liberating to not be so focused on the food this year and like feel like I'm missing out. Like I don't feel like I'm missing out this year like I normally would in the past because I can still partake in all of my favorite foods. And since I made that coconut cream pie, like that will be my dessert. I don't feel like I'm missing out on something sweet for a dessert. Um, but I just feel a lot better going into Thanksgiving this year. So hopefully this December will I will feel the same. Um, but it's all about just cherishing the moments with your family and friends and enjoying those moments because, you know, everybody is not on this earth, earth forever. You know, my dad is over 80 and, you know, I definitely want to cherish those moments, cherish my girls. Like Jenna's moved out now into Banff and now that she's taking Cove back with her, she might not be home every month. I might not see her again probably until Christmas time. So I'm just really going to be cherishing the moments today. All right, this is our new addition. You guys, we got a little kitten. I should say Zoe got a little kitten. We're down in Zoe's room right now. And this is where Ivy has been. This is Ivy. And we have had her, Zoe, we've had her over for a week now, haven't we? Yeah. We've had her for, just yeah, just over a week. <laughs> we have had her over a week and she is the sweetest thing ever. We rescued her from the SPCA here in Medicine Hat. And she is four months old and she is absolutely adorable. So our plan is actually to introduce her to the other dogs. Our plan is to introduce her to the other dogs once Cove goes back with Jenna. Um, just because like she's still a kitten and she's really, really laid back, but Cove is still a puppy and po Cove kind of doesn't no boundaries sometimes because she's still little too, right? Um, and I just don't want to scare Ivy like from upstairs and being around like Aries and Rosie. Um, so we're going to introduce her probably in the next day or two, but she is such a sweetheart. I come down here and visit her a few times a day. Hey, Zoe? Yeah. She is so, so cute. And she adjusted so well. I think it took her... It took her not even a day, actually, not even a day before she got all adjusted here and was using her litter box and was eating and drinking and just absolutely everything. So she is a sweetheart. I can't believe how chill she is for four months old. Um, but this is Ivy and our new addition to our house. And we already love her so, so much. Zoe's wanted a cat for like two years. <laughs> And uh, so we thought it would be a good time. And we seen, well, Zoe picked out her cat because this is actually her birthday gift. Like I mentioned, her birthday is October 12th. And she had wanted a cat for two years. So Jimmy and I talked about it and decided to get her a cat for her birthday and let her pick out her own cat at the SPCA. So, so we are very, very thankful for Ivy this year as well too. So we lose a pet and then we gain a pet. <laughs> It's kind of like kids. We lose a kid and then another one comes back. So it's great. So everybody meet Ivy and hopefully you'll be able to see her in lots of videos. Like I said, we're going to introduce her upstairs um, within a day or two. We just wanted to make sure that she adjusted really well to being in Zoe's room. And she is Zoe's cat, so she'll probably hang out a lot down here anyways. Right, Ivy? 
Oh my gosh, you're so adorable. You're so adorable. All right, so I am just making my stuffing and I use the carbonate bread actually because I was saving my all of my ends um, to use like for bread crumbs or stuffings. So I chopped all of that up and then I have my mixture just boiling in here. I will link the video in the description of my Thanksgiving um, dinner where I make this, but I actually make it with the protein sparing modified fast bread. But today I'm using the carbonate bread just all cubed. Mix that together, I will put it in this dish and then throw it in the oven for a little bit. No turkey. All right, so no, I need mashed potatoes. the table oh, is okay. all okay. set. This is the salt beef that I was talking about that is from Newfoundland. And with the jigs comes along with cabbage and um, carrots and turnip. And some stuffing for the family, potatoes, the turkey, and this is my stuffing as well, so. Excellent job on dinner, honey. Thank you so much. It looks fabulous. <laughs> and Jimmy doesn't drink that much pop. <laughs> I'm assuming you didn't ask me. But... Jenna, yeah. thank you for being here and making the trip from Banff. Papa, thanks for coming from town. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> and Zoe, thanks for living at home. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. Yeah. And this is little Cove. She's exhausted. She went to town. Mom got her a couple new toys, so she's gonna chill out now. So Jimmy is Very just yummy. I remember that. Yeah, they are good. Jimmy's just slicing up the apple, and then we are also having some pumpkin pie, and I'm going to have my coconut cream pie as well too. But I wanted to show you guys the inside of this. Just an apple with like a caramel and kind of rice krispies, and then chocolate on the outside. All right, everyone, it is seven o'clock and we are all done for the night. So my dad ended up heading home and we ended up just lounging. I finished all of the dishes and supper was absolutely amazing. I will insert a picture of my meal. I had made some homemade keto stuffing like I had showed you. I had turkey, some turnip, and what else did I have? That was it actually. I was going to actually have some green beans, but I forgot to open a can. So I just skipped that and I'm glad that I did because I was definitely full. And then I had my coconut cream pie for dessert, which was amazing. So I have some of that left over for, I guess my keto days in the week because today is Sunday. So once again, tomorrow, I'm gonna be starting my protein sparing modified fast days. And yeah, just continue on. So the day was absolutely wonderful. It was nice to have everybody together again. And that is it for the vlog. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can let you know when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.